Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can connect to MySQL database from XAMPP that we run from XAMPP using our Visual Studio code. So I have this MySQL database here. If I start this, I can uh, access this from the phpMyAdmin part 2. But I will, so if I go here, here also I can access this. But I'll show you how you can access this MySQL database from PHP my admin sorry from visual studio code okay so first open your visual studio code click on this extensions icon here or press the shortcut control shift x and search for my sql now you'll see a bunch of options Choose one my sql from vision probably that's how you pronounce it and just click on install and okay yeah Meanwhile, let's check if this uh, uh, exponent, this is the database that we will be connecting from PHP my admin, sorry, my uh, Visual Studio code. Now I can turn this off also. I just turned it on so that I can show you that this is the database. These are the database, my new DB and so on. So we don't need to open PHP my admin. We can just access this from Visual Studio code. So I can stop this Apache server, but this MySQL server must be running. Now, once this is installed this icon here this database icon will be added click on this and just click on create connection and now just give this a name i'll just call it local host and this is the host name if your database server is in another ip you can just add that ip here instead of your local host ip and this is the default port and by default there is no password for your local mysql server i can just click on save and this will be appearing here and now i'll just click on this and it will be automatically connected so as you can see we have these three databases available phpMyAdmin is created by phpMyAdmin and this is the database that i have these two my new db and test now you can just go inside these tables and you'll see no tables found found for now and you can run your queries here you can just click on this new query here and you can write your query let's say show tables and click enter so now i can write my query here show tables and click on control enter to run it and as you can see the uh, output will be shown here but since i don't have any tables no tables have been shown now i can create a new table by clicking on this plus icon here and this query will be automatically created now you can just uh, change this stuff so let's say my table write this here and you can add new columns by writing column names here and so on so again hit control enter to run this and now if i go inside tables as you can see this menu table is created so if i go back to the queries and hit control enter again as you can see the new table is shown so yeah this is how you can connect to a local database server and you can access all the databases for that user and you can create new tables and run queries most importantly any kind of query you want to run you can just click on this plus icon here and give a name to this file new query hit enter okay and this new query will be here and this has all your saved queries okay let's close this and here you can write all your queries let's say select all from what was the table name the table name was my new table and now hit control and enter together and this will run as you can see the data will be selected but since it is empty nothing is shown so this is how you can connect to my sql server from your visual studio code if you have any questions let me know in the comments below